Hello Henley students. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Piet Mondrian composition with red, blue, and yellow collage. I have colored construction paper, red, blue, and yellow. I have black paper, glue, pencil, and scissors. If you don't have construction paper at home, you could just take like a white paper and some crayons, draw some shapes, overlapping each other, and then color in the shapes with the crayons. And that's fine. I'm going to start by cutting out some squares and rectangles out of my red, blue, and yellow paper. I'm going to do three different sizes. Large shapes, medium shapes, and little teeny tiny baby shapes. I'm going to pause the video while I do that, and then I'll pick it up and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, I have some to get started. I can always cut some more if I want. Just to let you know, I didn't end up using the whole construction paper. I only used about a third of each piece of construction paper. So that way, when I go to glue the shapes onto my black paper, I won't have too many shapes. So I cut a little, and then I can go back and cut more if I really need to. Now that my shapes are cut, You'll see I have some that are small, some that are large, some that are medium, and I'm going to use these shapes to overlap each other and glue them down onto my black paper. Always start with the larger shapes. So let me pull out some of my large shapes. I think that should be good. And they can overlap each other as well. Whenever you glue, always make sure that you put the glue on the back of the small paper instead of smearing it all over the large paper. And definitely make sure you have something on underneath the paper so that you don't get glue on your table. I kind of like how that fell, so I'm going to do that one there. This one I think I want to arrange like, almost like a diamond. Going on top of the red a little, but that's good. And then this one's just going to stay flat on the bottom. Since I didn't draw my lines before I cut, I don't have to worry about pencil lines showing. But if you did draw your lines before you cut them out, that's good. You can always make sure you glue the side that has the pencil lines down so we don't see those pencil lines. Otherwise, you will have to go back and erase them. Okay, now I'm going to work with some of my medium-sized shapes. Now, the medium-sized shapes should go on a different color, so I should not put red on top of red. I should put red on top of either yellow or blue. I'm going to do yellow. No. How about blue? Since I have red up top, I kind of want to move it so I don't have too much red next to each other. And then that means on top of the yellow, I have to have a blue. This one wants to go up and down. And on top of the red, I have to have a yellow. A little bit of space in between my red now I'm going to work with my small shapes, and those will go on top of the medium-sized shapes. So if I have red, large, yellow, medium, I have to have blue for the small. my yellow is going to go on the bottom, and then my red right there in the middle. And there's my collage composition with red, blue, and yellow. 
in the style of Piet Mondrian. I hope you enjoy this lesson.